So I'm walking down to our garden or the setup for the new garden. As you can see, we put down some weed blocker. And all we're trying to do here is basically try and make those weeds underneath just give up. Now we are gonna try and structure our beds this weekend. So um, at least this will be a beginning. It's temporary, we won't leave the, the weed blocker down um, because we want the roots in our beds to be able to go down into the soil if they really want to. But just wanted to give you guys an idea of how it's starting to shape up and we'll come back this weekend and we will uh, take a look at putting together the raised beds, which is going to be a U-shaped bed, two four-foot beds with the U on the top being a three-foot bed with a two, two-foot walkway in between. And... Hey guys, welcome to an episode of Cooking with the Frisbees, but today is all about our garden and the lake corn farm and getting it set up. The weather's getting pretty nice. It's gonna be about 62 degrees today. Um, you can see we built these beds a couple of weeks ago, but today is all about getting them filled. And it's about not using all dirt, because dirt is expensive, right? So as you can see what we've done in here, um, we've got a layer of cardboard down underneath. The cardboard will break down, it'll feed the soil. And then we've got some trimmings from the trees that we've got. Unfortunately, we just started this, so we couldn't get the, use the leaves um, and to fill that partially. So the bottom part of this, we're, we're trying to save money on this. So I had uh, four cubic yards of topsoil delivered. Um, I've got sitting up on the hill 15 bags of hardwood mulch. Um, I looked up the difference between pine bark mulch and hardwood mulch and it said that pine bark wasn't as nutritious for the soil as hardwood. So that's why I went with hardwood. So the hope will be that we can fill these up partially. This one I'm not going to worry so much about because it's really only an 8x4, kind of by 8 or 10, but because there's such a slope to our yard in here, you can see as you got down to that back corner, it really got high, it's about 20 inches high back there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start filling these and start putting these bags in here um, and see how things go. We'll be back. Okay, so we're back. Um, and as you can see, I'll take you over here. As you can see, the beds are filled with the mulch right now. Uh, let's see if I can get you a better look at that. Yeah, you can see the beds are filled with the mulch now. So you remember how deep it was back there. Um, it's filled it. Now it's gonna be spongy, but we've got some other dirt that we've gotta put in there as well. So. We'll continue to fill this, but it's not bad to put this hardwood in here because it's actually nutritious for the soil. So we've got one, two, then we've got this third one behind me filled as well. Um, so now the next thing that I'm gonna have to do is, um, hang on, see if you guys can see this. Well, not let me do it. So it's gonna stay with me. So come with me. I'll show you the next thing that we're gonna have to do now that we got this all set up. Um, yeah, I've got some work to do over here. 
the erosion in this backyard is ridiculous but you can see the beds down there but now we have to come over here and I've got my got pine straw I got to put down it's a lot of work to do got my wheelbarrow out but we have over here four cubic yards of dirt that I had delivered so we're gonna have to take that dirt wheelbarrow it all the way down here again that's just a filler because we're not done yet because then also <laughs> we've got 15 bags of good composter organic dirt that we're going to put in the garden as well so we've got some work to do we'll continue to do it hey everybody and welcome back to cooking with the frisbees but not the lake corn farm so beginning of the video i showed you the preparation that we were doing in terms of getting the fillers in the bed and the branches and we came back with the, the hardwood mulch um, and then I showed you the big the two big bags of topsoil so Beth got out here with me I'm not sure how many wheelbarrows full that was my back is killing me farm work is not easy I can tell you that but I did want to come back and show you the finished result which is not finished by a long shot so as you can see what we have in here now the beds are now filled with topsoil so the bottom layer was all sticks and branches and cardboard cardboard was to kill those weeds underneath but still break down and add nutrition to the soil then we came back five bags each of the hardwood mulch and then we came back with our topsoil what we'll be left to do we're going to let this settle and kind of dry out a little bit and i know they look full but this dirt's going to settle in a little bit more and then we've got some bags of mulch that we have sitting over there or not mulch but we got bags of Kind of mixed organic soil that has some compost mixed into it. And once this dries out, it'll probably take about seven of those bags each. So you're probably looking at it and go, wow, that's really full, but it'll start to settle in. So this was roughly about three and a half, four hours worth of work. Um, up and down the hill, which I really hate. I don't want to show the hill because that hill is just so nasty, but um, I got to thank Beth. She did an outstanding job. What a trooper because it was shoveling and wheelbarrowing and <laughs> <laughs> It is a ton of work and Bella was in front of us the whole time wanting us to play ball with her But the good thing is it's about 63 degrees. The weather's turning um, We're getting ready for a good gardening season um, We should be ready um, Our last friends in zone 7a is i think we're at 7a or 7b should be march 31st to april 10th we've already went and talked to the nursery about getting our starters um for those and pick those up in the next weeks i think we'll be ready to start planting we're going to put some trellises in here um one will be tomatoes and beans and squash and Beth bought some tomatillos because I'm dead set on growing some tomatillos. But he doesn't even know what to I do with them. I don't know what they are. I don't know what they do, but I see every gardener <laughs> doing it, so I want them. Um, and then, you know, over here, you know, this bed needs a little bit more work. We're going to have to put some, some of the compost organic dirt in here. You can see uh, the rosemary, you can see the onions, the chives still growing. Uh, these two beds will have a trellis that comes up. We're definitely going to try some vertical gardening this year. Um, but this is where, when we mention in Cooking with the Frisbee that we get things out of the garden, this is where it comes from. So, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully, we'll be back to give you guys a garden tour sometime in the early summertime, and things will be growing and looking beautiful. So, come, come, come watch us.